Boom. They're here. Jag number probably 10. All right, what's up guys? So, went out with Seth, one of my favorite subscribers. We go way back recently and we got on a hot hogfish and gag bite and I did an intro with them, but some technical difficulties. Everything's always a little difficult when Ryan's not here. So I figured I'd do the intro now. Um, and then part of the big reasons why we were gonna do this video is we were going to um, share a number with you so if you guys live in the area and you want the opportunity to go catch hogfish and gags we absolutely tore them up we caught probably 12 gags um, multiple hogs just a really good day overall fishing with shrimp I'm booting up the sim rad now and uh, yeah stay tuned spot already two break offs another baby I just got one too there's some big ones down there though this is gag number probably 10. That one's definitely gonna keep. I think we gotta mess with that one. Woo! There we go. That's nice. This is gag number probably 10 today. Go ahead, throw it down here. We're gonna measure it anyways. Gag number 11 or 12 probably. Set it out here. Already broke one rod. It'll be close. close. He's gonna be short. Oh, he spit up a couple baits. You might be able to get your bait back. There's one too. Oh uh, no! Finally. <laughs> We're running out of bait. All right, guys, moved up off the ledge. We're on top of it now. Still got a couple gag baits out, but gag bite died. We caught ten or twelve of them. Now we're hog fishing. We got one in the box. We got four overall. Hey! Oh, and a big, big old, old grunt right there. Let's see if we can get another one. Same number. So you guys are welcome to it. Come out here and catch some hogs. It's a lot of fun. Mike just got a nice one, almost 17 inches. Let's see if he plucks another one real quick while the camera's on him. Pressure. Hog balls. Everybody's talking about hog balls. Everybody's talking about hog balls. Mike Mike pours his own hog balls, MV3 baits. Look them up. So far he's got the keeper hog. How big is that one, Mike? The hog? That, that. This one here is about an ounce and a quarter. Ounce and a quarter. Custom pink. Custom pink. Hog pink. Hog pink. Hog pink. Everybody's talking about hog balls. All right, another hog going in the box. Another nice male. Boom. They're here. Tyler with a nice hog hooked up, probably. I don't know, it could be a jack mackerel. But I have a feeling that's a hogfish. It's the way it's spinning. It looks like a little female. It looks like it's gonna go back. Look how cute she is. Crazy, even little ones oh fight hard. That's why I felt so heavy. <laughs> Alright guys, as promised, I hope you get some good weather and you can get out here and catch some fish because we were crushing them. So I know gags are closed, I'm sorry for the late, but they'll be back and you'll have an opportunity in the winter to catch them. I'm just looking at my bottom machine now, try to find exactly what we want and where I was at. So we were in 60 feet, 65 feet, and there was a nice ledge right there. Um, 
it shows 21 miles from here where I'm at currently but that's only because I live a few miles from the beach hopefully this isn't too close is this too close I don't know this is too close all right so I'm gonna zoom in give you guys this number and I just want to point out again on the ledge if you're on the bottom of the ledge you're catching gags if you just move up for me all we do is pull up anchor rope we'll pull up some anchor rope motor up to where the anchor is stuck and just start fishing shrimp like if you want a good success with hogfish i can't stress enough have everybody on the boat fish for hogfish don't have anybody throwing out big pinfish and things like that it's it's not that they won't get hit or you won't catch a nice grouper it's just those hogfish are really finicky, you know, like they're not as aggressive. They're more docile than uh, grunts and things like that. So if you put down a shrimp, you have grunts, you have porgies, you have all these other different species are going to eat it as well. And you kind of got to clean those out before you get to the, the hogs. I, I know there's much better captains out there than me. You're probably looking at this like, ha, oh, you're an idiot. You just don't have good spots. I'm telling you, I, I tear up some hogfish, but I don't limit out. You guys might limit out. So here's the number I'm going to give you. Take a look at that. 21.5 miles from here. Hopefully I can get that zoomed in for you. So here's the actual marker. I just have it labeled ledge. We're fishing all over this ledge. You move up and down it, you're going to catch fish. And the cool part is all around this is good area. So if you guys just explore around this area, I assure you, leaving from John's Pass, you're going to catch some hogfish. So, good luck. 27 47 089 83 06 717. That's about 18 miles out of John's Pass. Good luck. Catch them up, boys. Watch us do it now. All right guys, I got a real simple recipe for grouper nuggets that I'm gonna do. Consisting of the breadcrumbs, everybody's seasoning, some red hot sweet chili. Oven's preheating to 475 and I got the bacon cooking. Uh, I'm gonna cut this grouper. We caught this nice grouper and hogfish with Seth recently. And I had some leftover that I froze. I'll make it for lunch today. Just wanted to show you guys this recipe because it's really easy, really a big hit at parties and um, yeah, let's get to it. So, I cut my grouper into chunks, four chunks. Just me eating today. And I melted some butter in the bacon grease. I'm gonna dip these chunks in here, throw them in the butter, wrap them in bacon. I put a little of this red hot chili sauce in it and then bake it in the oven for eight minutes. And I'll show you what that looks like. Set that in there for eight minutes. Clean up your mess and cook some rice. I like this yellow rice. Put the fish right on top and enjoy. It's a really good, uh, easy meal. All right, guys. Eight minutes later, and this is what you have. I got my rice over here. 
Let's have a nice white flaky fish. Oh yeah. Yummy. Perfect. Give me a drive. Let me know. Dude, that look like looks like he's hooked perfectly in the top of the mouth. What do we got, Mike? What is it? Hog! Nice. nice, first hog of the day. It's gonna be close. Worth measure. <laughs>